In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you some tips on working with animated stickers. I have this photo loaded and I'm in the library area. I'm going to click on the guided button at the top. That will get me to the area where I have stickers. If I drag down, I'm going to find near the very bottom under decorations, a subcategory called stickers. Let's click on that. And here we have some default stickers. And I have a whole host of others that I can download. Now you notice if I have a red dot, it means there are items in that selection I have not yet downloaded. I can click on it. It will animate that. And it will show me the ones that I have available. Animated ones will move in the preview screen. The ones that aren't will not. Let's take this one here and click on it. It will download that particular sticker. All I need to do is drag and drop it on my photograph. We'll take it. Let's move it down here. We can do other things with it. We can change the opacity, the rotation, other things about the position or the speed of the animation. Let's assume for now that we like what we've done and we're okay with it. How do I save it? The way to save it is to click on the Control Shift and press the S key. That will get you to save. The other option is simply click on the Export button. Now you notice I have two options. I can save this as a photo file, which will remove the animation, or I can save it as a video GIF. If I click on Photo File, it will ask for a folder and it will arbitrarily give me a name and I can write over that, name it something meaningful to me. We'll cancel out of that. Let's click on Export again and let's look at New Video or GIF file. When I click on this, again, it wants a location, it wants a file name, and it also will allow me to create a GIF, a WMV, or an MPEG-4 file. So I have to pick whichever format I want. Let's say I want a GIF, and it will give me a resolution, a height and width that I can adjust. Then I click on Produce, and it will create that as an animated GIF file with that file name in the location that I chose. And then it will give me a message that the file was successfully created. I can click Open File Location, and that will take me in my file system to the place where my particular GIF is. I'm going to double click on it so we can actually see it. And this is what it looks like as an animated GIF. Let's close that out and close the other window. Now, I'm going to click on OK. One thing I've noticed is if I click from the Guided button at the top to the Edit button, what it will do is it will save this in the, in the project, not as an animated GIF, but as a static one. If I click anywhere off the Guided tab to the Adjustment layer, it will it'll say, well, you want to save? I'll say yes. And I can go back, and if I click back on the Guided layer, you notice what happened. My animation disappears. If I click to the Edit button and want to edit it in that screen and click back to Guide It, the minute you click off the Guided area, it will not save it as an animated image, but as a static image, a non-moving image. If I click on Edit and try to export now, my only export options are photo files. I can create a layer file or I can save it as a photo file. I do that, I have the options now of file format to change it. I can use a TIFF, a PNG, a JPEG, or a PHI file. I cannot save it as an animated file, whether it's a WMV, an MP4, or a GIF. So if you're going to use an animated sticker and you want the result to be a video rather than a picture, you need to stay inside the guided area. Now what I could do, I could take this Let's go back to the edit area. Let's say I want to undo it. I'll click on this area here. I'll press the delete key on the keyboard. That will take that layer out. I can go back to the guided area. We'll save what we've done. Basically, all we did was remove it. I can go back to my stickers. I can take another sticker that's animated of any kind and drag it on the screen. And I can now save it if I click on export as a video file or a GIF file. But I have to remain in this screen if I want the video. If I just want a photo with this non-animated, I'm fine. It doesn't matter which of these three areas I'm in, either of the three will work. 
And so then all I have to click, do is click on export. And here I can go back to a regular photo file and choose the file format that I want to use. Let's say I just want a PNG file and then I can export it and it will save it very easily. So even though I'm seeing it animated on this screen, my export is not animated because it's a still picture. So that's a little bit about using animated stickers in your project in PhotoDirector 365.